<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there you are. I knew I'd find you here. Aren't you having fun? Hmm. Yeah, I get that. Socializing isn't my strong suit either. Then again, it has been a while since we partied. <laughs> that being said, are you just going to stand here all night? Sip on your little red cup till the party ends? Well, if I were you, I would let a little loose and enjoy myself. Life is short. Hmm. Then, what about we just get out of here? Maybe? I think a little fresh air would do both of us some good. Sweet. Here, come on, grab my hand. I don't want you getting lost. And it'll be fine. Everyone is vibing right now. They won't notice two people are missing. It beats standing in a corner all night. <sighs> Isn't this nice? The cold night air, the quiet atmosphere, two best friends just chilling. Hmm. The party was okay. Food was good. Drinks were eh. <laughs> to be honest, I think I got used to the whole distancing thing. Going from being stuck at home to being surrounded by tons of people can kind of be suffocating. Right? I'm not much of a party animal either. I don't know. Everyone has the urge to, to go a little wild once in a while in their life, but... I just think going a little stroll with, like, people you care about, that feels so much better than getting drunk with strangers. Of course I care about you. Don't act dumb. We've been friends since, like, forever. Just going on a stroll like this and talking already makes my day. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I miss socializing. I just kind of miss hanging out with you more. Saying yes if we had a little party on our own. We shouldn't leave the night on a bad note. Yeah, let's just go hang out somewhere. Hmm, let's see. How about that park over there? Oh, let's go sit over there. There we go. Come on, sit. I remember playing here a lot. I always wanted to go here at night. A clear view of the sky. I always dreamed about setting up a blanket here and gazing up the stars. I was in my own little world. I always had trouble making friends with girls my age. I've always been quite of a tomboy. <laughs> but I guess things worked out in the end. Well, I met you. Dude, no, really, you are a cool guy. You look after me when I'm depressed. You check on me daily to see if I've eaten and hydrated. You listen to me in and out. And I don't know where I'd be without your support, honestly. Sometimes I wish that we could just sit here forever and enjoy each other's company. Oh, huh? It's nothing. <laughs> no, really, it's nothing. I'm just mumbling to myself. Hey, is something bothering you? You seem on edge. Dude, you could tell me anything. We're best friends, remember? <laughs> That's what's got you worried, dude? I just wanted to get out of here as much as you did. If anything, I did both of us a favor. <laughs> Actually, I'm not forcing you to hang out with me, am I? Because you could tell me if you want to be alone. I don't want to ruin your night. Sorry, I tend to overthink. Um... What about the party? I didn't interrupt anything, did I? 
you know, like, girls and stuff. I mean, there were some girls that seemed interested, eyeing you all night, waiting to make their move. Did you like any of them by chance? Or find anyone cute? Thank God, I, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, what I was trying to say is that it's good to hear no one has been bothering you, or, I mean, that I didn't interrupt anything. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> so sorry, could you just close your eyes and face me for a bit? I drank a little, so I'm going to use what little amount of liquid confidence I have to do this. I... I love you a lot. Not just as a friend, love... Like, love, love you. Wait, before you say anything, before you reject me, just let me mentally prepare myself. Okay, I'm ready. Hit me with it. Whoa. Dude? Um. Dude, are you going to reject me or are you going to keep hugging me? Wait, 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 wait. You, you like me too? I thought you were more into the girly type. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm just so happy right now. Wait, so does this mean you want to date me? You have no idea how much I wanted this. It's only so taxing trying to make a move, especially when there's a chance you'd get weirded out. Uh, oh, um, a question? Sure, go right ahead. Well, you just realized it one day. I honestly kind of felt empty when you were not around. After a while, it became obvious. To be honest, I wasn't even sure if I loved you till tonight. Thoughts just ran through my head. What if you moved on? What if you weren't in my life anymore? What if someone ended up replacing me? Then it hit me, that empty feeling. It wasn't just void, it started to ache. Yeah, my friend did drag me around a lot at the party, but I couldn't take my t eyes off of you, especially after seeing several girls ogling at you. I have no idea how or when you'll meet someone to replace me. So I decided to do something about it. Find a little opening and escape with my friends. Ran over to you to check up on you. And then from there, it was all improv. But it kind of sounds creepy when I say it like that. The main thing was, I couldn't just stand there. I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to live a life where I been replaced and have to live a life in and day out suffering just because I was too scared to make a move. No one wants that, but it happens, and that possibly scared me. <laughs> it will be better if everyone's more straightforward with this crush thing. Instead of having to play with a little guessing game. But now that's over, I have no regrets. You have no idea how happy you made me today. I'm so glad I confessed. I love you. <laughs>